Okay, I figured I'd do a little quick video on the burners I made. Uh, it's a one and a half inch steel pipe. Um, I started out with an 18 inch piece of steel pipe, uh, threaded on both ends from the hardware store, and he cut it in half for me. Um, now nine inches, and then a cast iron elbow screwed on the end. I'm going to weld this here, and there's a piece of fireplace mesh. I don't know if you can see it. That's going to get welded in as well. Okay. This piece here is an electrical uh, fixture, ceiling fan type fixture or a box. It goes in an electrical box and it has um, a threaded area in it. And it fits a 1 8 inch plug, brass plug, as you see here. That's the orifice that the gas flows through. Um, it's a 1 16th inch hole, so it's just simply drilled in a drill press with a 1 16th inch drill bit. A uh, little tip when you drill that hole, thread it into this piece nice and tight, set it on your drill press table and then drill down through and that'll make a nice straight hole right dead through, through the center. See that there? That piece gets put onto this ball valve. It has a, um, a nib here um, for the hose so it's going to get put on with a hose clamp. And then the only other fitting is this fitting here. It's a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch. Okay? So, and then this piece here gets screwed in like that. And this is the finished piece here. There's the nib. And there's the burner orifice. Threaded through this into this fitting. And then this fitting just simply screwed into there. And that's it. Uh, just a couple of parts. Um, when this is done, this gets welded to this, just like that. Okay? So when it's done, that's welded dead center like that, and I'll show you when it's all finished. Okay? Um, some people just bend this piece of steel and then um, screw it or rivet it to this. But I'm going to do some welding anyway, so I'm just going to weld it so it's nice and solid and no, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, and then um, when the gas is turned on, this valve's turned on, and it takes air in through this hole here and um, produces a flame on the other end. Uh, I'm going to play around with this for a burner, and then there's one other burner style I'm going to make and uh, show you, and I'm going to pick the best one to suit um, this kiln. Um, as a third resort, I might build the same burner that Simon has, but I'm not sure where the orifice is on Simon's burners. He wasn't really um, um, clear on where the orifice is, or the size of the orifice, the hole, in other words, that the propane goes through. So um, if the two burners that I make don't work out, I'll maybe mess around with the third version that, that Simon has, but these are pretty cheap to make. Um, this is a takeoff on um, Mel's 10 buck burner. If you just Google that, a couple of links will come up and um, uh, you'll see a couple of, exa of examples. Um, I kind of modified it a little bit based on whatever I could scrounge up at the plumbing store. So, But it's pretty simple. Uh, just one, two fittings, like I said, that plug, this fitting, a ball valve, and this fitting for the hose. Uh, the regulator I have, it's right here, it's a high pressure um, turkey fryer regulator. Okay, right here in this end I'm going to put a T right here. And then this red hose is going to split off either end and go to the two burners. So that's what that red hose is for. It's just going to use it to um, divide the two burners on the same gas line. And I also have one more length of a uh, 10 foot hose to go on this setup so the propane bottles are going to be a good 12 feet away from the kiln when it's going. So uh, The second part of this clip I'm going to kind of stick them together and you'll see them firing. I'll probably have them out in the driveway and, and fire one so you can see the flame and so I can see the flame and see if it's going to be um, good. And that's it. See you in the next clip. This is my burners fully uh, welded. I welded them up today. See the welds there and I didn't want any gas leaking out. And here's um, what it looks like here. 
This is a cross plate I welded, a couple of fittings. And the orifice is in here, and like I said, it's a sixteenth of an inch. Now I set the other one up for a little test. And I need some advice, because I'm not sure if this flame is going to be adequate for um, firing, so let's check it out. I have a 1 to 10 pound regulator. Turn it on low here and fire it up. <coughs> Okay, so that's <clears throat> barely on. Gas is just barely, barely hissing. And the valve there wide open. So, that's about as low as that'll go. Without going out, I would imagine. If I slowly crank the gas, that's kind of low to medium. You can hear the gas, medium, medium to high. <clears throat> and that's about as high as it'll go right there. It's probably about 10 PSI. Now, I'm not sure if that yellow flame <clears throat> is good for firing. I've never actually fired with gas before, so I need a little input from someone who might know and I'll ask Simon Leach to come take a look at this burner, and he can tell me if he, it'll, if he thinks it'll work. So I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll just reuse some of these parts here and there, and um, try a different burner until I get it right. Uh, that's it. Turn that down again. Finally off. So there's the burners, and um, I don't know. We'll see what happens, and anyone can give me some input, I'd appreciate it. All right, thanks, and uh, see you in the next clip.